Glad to see you here. I think maybe the truth may be part of everyone's theories. Maybe they're all connected somehow. And, you know, as I'm reading these uh, Robert Monroe books on out-of-body experiences, I see that 100%. There's so many places throughout his writings that it's like I it was it was something that uh, it, and it's in all three of his books. I'm on his third book right now. But like you can see some of the experiences that he has. It's like that it, it, when I was studying the Christian mystics, I was like, that is that's exactly what a Christian mystic experienced. That is exactly what he saw and his interpretation of it was God. But the thing that I appreciate about Robert Monroe is he totally takes everything from a very um, objective standpoint, objective, objective and scientific standpoint to where, to where he's like, OK, was this the case? I don't know. And he really goes back and forth on all these different stuff. But like getting back to your comment of, you know, maybe the truth is in all these different theories. A lot of the things that Robert Monroe has said that he experienced when he was having these out of body experiences, you know, he saw these things that I was like, that could be the Christian mystics. He heard these things where I was like, that could be Father God. And uh, like, because they call, I don't, you know, they're like, have you talked, have you talked to the Father? Like, the Father knows everything or whatever. Um, and then like reincarnation. So I'm like, well, there's a whole bunch of other dogmatic beliefs that reincarnation is real. And even, you know, people who don't believe in heaven and hell, but there's an afterlife and then the energy of all this energy, like new age stuff. It's like all of that, like I can see all of that throughout his writings. And so there might be a point there. It's like, it's, it's all BS or none of it is. I mean, honestly, that's, that's how I'm thinking about it. And so it's like, I agree with you that I think that there are different truths laid out throughout um, different spiritualities and different religions that it's like, because we're so, uh, we, because religion is so dogmatically set in the way that they think they're unwilling to look at this spectrum of truth that's hidden in other religions and so they, they just say, well, this is false because this doesn't cohere with my belief system. And it's like they're just using the coherence theory on how they arrive at truth. And they're not looking at like the correspondence theory. But what is what's actually real? What actually corresponds to reality? And so I do think that truth might be in everyone's theories. Um, do I know that for a fact? No. But as I'm looking more at different paths of spirituality and different religions, I'm seeing that may very well be the case. And we're all wrong because it's all something completely different than what we thought it would be. But if we were to look like I'm talking about at the wider, bigger spectrum of spirituality and religion, we would see, hey, maybe there's like maybe there's a hidden truth in all of it there. Like what's the component in all of them that we're missing? And so I, th I think there could be something there. I don't know. Um, but I do think that uh, exactly like you're saying, that truth might be a part of everyone's theories.